everyone, it's Liam Catterson here. It's time for episode 5 of season 7 of Charmed, um, which was a pretty, pretty massive episode. Um, yeah, uh, I feel like this was probably, I mean, I'm still a ways off until uh, concluding uh, season 7 on Charmed, but um, yeah, I feel like this was probably so far one of my favorite episodes this season it was just really really incredible stuff uh, and you can check out my reaction uh, that's what this video is for so uh, of course you can find my reaction in the description below and the comments pinned um to see my bridged reaction to this episode um so uh yeah be sure to check that out and uh yeah comment on this video um give the algorithm a bit of a buff so yeah um and i guess i'll see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed uh, the reaction of course my thoughts for this episode will be included in this video um again why the episode is uh, or why this video should i say is uh, long so um yeah i'll see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed the re reaction and uh, until then toodles yeah i really thought that that was great stuff um as i've mentioned probably my favorite episode so far um of course there is a proliferate of other episodes to go through for this season but it was just really great um and you know you think back to death takes a hallowell um and how that was a really really fantastic episode that you know obviously at the time i didn't anticipate any kind of foreshadowing in terms of what would happen to prue but um there was that little bit of foreshadowing i guess um so hopefully nothing happens to Piper in the next few episodes. No, in all seriousness, though, um, yeah, it was just very uh, fascinating to have um, Piper be allocated the workload after, of course, the after, of course, what happened to Arthur and uh, the backlog that the Angel of Death had. So yeah, but it was this race against the clock as well, really, for not just um you know uh piper but i guess in order to catch up to the workload uh to you know make sure that death continues really so um yeah i mean what i would have loved i guess um would be the full focus on piper in a set i think this episode still worked for what it had but i feel like um with like with uh, this episode having a lot more focus on Piper taking those who have um, departed and all of that, uh, I feel like that would have I don't know maybe made things a bit more stronger. I don't know um, because we saw Piper take the life of that you know elderly guy. Uh, well, I say took the life, took the soul, should I say? Um, she's not responsible for you know life or death as we know. Uh, it's all about maintaining the balance but um we saw her, we saw her took that soul um from that guy that just died um and it was a very well done moment because of this being piper's first go about um and not just that though but with piper's attitude and all of that like uh, how um caring she is and and there is that humanity i i guess that humanity that comes along with the job it is kind of an emotional beat isn't it like delivering someone to their afterlife really so i would have loved to have seen a bit more in terms of her taking a few more lives like a life of like or soul should i say I say take lives as if she's the one responsible for killing these people that she isn't so but you get the idea um i would have loved to have seen her take a few more souls from uh, other people maybe you know one from a child uh potentially that would have like i feel like that might have um played on really really um hard as well uh for for piper considering the fact that she is a mother herself um so i know i'm being very very dark with this and all of that but um it is a very very um interesting element to have piper fill in the shoes of uh, well i wouldn't say fill in the shoes it's more so of an assistant isn't it but um you get the idea in terms of like she's now uh an angel of death and um yeah i mean 
it would have been very it would be very very interesting if you know there are different circumstances that would have uh, pushed things a bit further and further and all of that uh, in terms of um piper becoming uh an angel of death like um escorting the soul of a child to the afterlife it would it would be very very crushing so um yeah but i like i said i think things worked the way uh, well as it did um it's just that okay well when piper was appointed an angel of death i thought oh are we gonna see like all of these different circumstances of piper taking souls from those who have departed um like uh and and it's gonna really really push piper and all of that even though that she still has to you know complete the workload it's gonna it, you know it's gonna break her because of you know who she is and all of that so yeah um and it's it, it, it was it was just really really uh great stuff so yeah um to see you know piper take on this job repairing the damage that was caused etc so yeah but also like i said the circumstances that pre uh, that preceded in this episode was very very interesting like when of course phoebe's name popped up on the list and all of that and that that still created a breaking point for for piper because of the fact that she she's not wanting to collect the soul of uh, she's not wanting to collect the soul of uh her sister and ultimately she did it was the wrong one though know, because uh obviously phoebe's name was on the list but um page got zapped by the uh, by cirque so um yeah but it still created a very poignant moment when it came to uh phoebe's name being brought up on the list um because there was a very very powerful speech from the angel of death by making um that that speech about you know life has meaning because there is an end and you know if if with death that forces people to live so if you take away death you take away living that was a very very um very important a very very powerful um quote said by the angel of death because i think he has a point really i i mean we all know that our time will come one day it's it's a sad fact of life but it's inevitable there's no one can live forever and um it's always about thinking about what to do with your life you want to make the best of your life really because of the fact that you know life that there, there is a meaning because there is an end you want to make you want to make the best memories and all of that um as uh in order to you know tell a good story when you do die and all of that i know obviously some people choose not to heed that warning uh i guess um but, you know, just thinking about the idea of life, um, you know, it has meaning because there is an end. You just think back to, you, you just think about, you know, you want to create so many magical moments and all of that. You want to, you know, make life so, so worth living. Um, and what makes life so, so worth living is, you know, not throwing it away by being a complete dick or being a murderer, being a psychopath, etc. It's making those magical moments, those important memories um, that, you know, you're going to cherish when you know your time is coming to an end. It's something to reflect on in fondness. Um, so, yeah. Because um, otherwise, you know, with, without death, there is, yeah, it, it can be a curse. And there is no, funnily, well, interestingly enough, there's no consequence, really, um, to no death. You can do whatever you want, really, because of the fact that um, with, without death, there is, you know, no reason. For, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, takes, it takes away the magic, doesn't it, of creating so much greatness in life. So, yeah. But, um it was a very, very thought-provoking moment for, for, for Piper. And, yeah. And it sucked for her to be neutral, but it had to be done, really, for her to, um, you know, for her to, to, to make her job stick, really. So, yeah. 
Um, and like I said, the tr- uh, like in terms of the system as well, um, like, yeah, I wasn't, you know, I don't know, I wasn't too sure fully in terms of like the list and all of that and how certain names were removed in terms of, um, you know, um, circumstances have changed and all of that. Because in my mind, um, the trades worked, I feel like, because it's a very unorthodox situation, um, as as the Angel of Death pointed out. But I don't know. I feel like when you've got something like a, a list, it, it's very definitive. It's very final. So, yeah. Um, but I guess, you know, when it comes to... Um, it, it, it can be a very, very, um, you know, comp- uh, it can be a very, very, um, I don't know, unpredictable uh, thing in terms of uh, people, you know, changing fate and all of that and all of that. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I wasn't really uh, too, too sure about it. But like I said, I think the trade off worked because it was always going to be a matter on, OK, how are we going to get uh, Paige back? I mean, let alone how are we going to make sure that the that the world uh, is aware that oh yeah, Piper didn't actually die because that was being reported on the news, and it's like okay, well, how are we going to fix this mess? But it's also now the matter on how are we going to bring Paige back, and the trade off did work. So yeah, but um, I mean, like I said, I mean, I felt like it was a very very interesting um, you know scenario because I don't know if we, I don't think we had the list when it came to uh death takes a hallowell i i don't know so yeah but like i said in terms of removing them and all of that yeah i mean circumstances might change um where you you look like you're destined to die right um but there can be, you know, last minute, uh, I guess, changes and all of that, especially when you're dealing with magic and, and all that shit. So, yeah. But, yeah. Um, it was like, like kind of like how things were when it came to, 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 to Peru, I guess, when it came to uh, Death Takes a Hallowell, because... You know, she she was getting embroiled uh, into that, and uh, well, sadly enough, she died a few episodes later, didn't she? So, yeah. But you know, for some reason, I could also just think of when Prue actually did die. Um, when Prue actually did die, it was um like what I, I was just thinking when Piper escorted that uh, person to you know, their afterlife and all of that. I was just thinking that. Like, that was just playing in my head for some reason, and it was just making me sad, so... Yeah. But it was really, really great stuff. Um... It was great to see Evil Cordy again, I guess. I just love the facts, though. Like I said, I think it, uh, in episode three, when you saw her for the first time, and you got a good glimpse of her character you were f- so like it was like some of the mannerisms and all of that it was like oh god she it's like she is cordy from it, it is like she is uh cordelia chase just a bit more evil <laughs> i guess um and the fact that she's a seer doesn't actually help matters whatsoever obviously if you know the dr- uh, gist of it so yeah and uh, again, in this episode, she just exemplified um, why she is like, it, why it's like if Cordy was splintered to another universe, um, aka the Charmed universe. It, it, just, just with some of the things she said in this episode, it was just like, oh, this is this is Cordy, this is Cordy. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was very, very interesting. Like I said, in terms of you know Piper being. Uh, well, Piper taking on the the role of the Angel of Death, um, and uh, you know how we were dealing with this whole situation. Like I said, how we were dealing with bringing Paige back, how we were going to clear up that Piper isn't dead because that was being blasted on the news. Um, so, yeah, and thankfully, a, you know, Agent Brody, who very curious about, um, he's seemingly on our side, but. 
am still watching that space anyways. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he's cleaning up the mess, so good on him. Because the cleaners won't be bothered to do shit because the cleaners suck. We've, we've ludicated that, that they just suck. Um, so, yeah. But to be fair, I am also glad that um, Chris or Wyatt aren't older and all of that. Like when it came to, like they could just be flicking on uh, around the TV. They just see their mom's dead. So, yeah. Um, still, you don't want them to, to, to kind of get the memo or, or anything or any indication. Wyatt maybe. Chris is still a baby at the end of the day, so, yeah, but, yeah, I mean, this was a really, really fantastic episode, um, yeah, I, I, I really loved it, like, especially the focus on Piper being, uh, the angel of death and her getting to experience the not-so-joys of being the angel of death, I guess, so, because, uh, yeah, not really, a, uh, enjoyable occupation, is it, so, yeah, but, um, yeah, I thought that this was pretty, pretty fantastic stuff. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodles!